What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review we're going to take a look at my custom uh, Star Wars Black Series Battlefront 2 clone officer from the 501st. Um, <laughs> now this is not the most accurate uh, depiction of the 501st officer. Um, I am still missing the two lines that go on the bicep on both sides, but I'll get those done as soon as I can. Um, but uh, this is just kind of my rendition of a 501st uh, officer from Battlefront 2. Um, I picked up the comma uh, and the rangefinder from um, what you call it, and the turret kit from um, John Walker Customs. So if you want to check that out on his website, you can. If you want to, go for it. Um, the rest um, pretty much is just paint. Um, I tried to make it a little bit sloppy on purpose. Um, I actually used a razor blade to kind of make it look like he's battle-worn, uh, especially around the wrists, um, the, around the ankles and the knees and on the thighs as well as far as the two stripes that go on the thighs. Um, as far as the rangefinder, I just went with a silver paint um, as far as that's concerned. He maintains a, a full articulation here. The comma with the, uh, the belt comma, I did have to cut the belt off, but what I did was I kind of sliced inside so I could get uh, uh, both commas in here because if you actually pick up his commas uh, from his store, they actually run a little bit large um, and a little bit uh, longer, so they'll actually be end up touching each other. So I just kind of glued one to the back of the belt here, and then the other one to the other side of the belt, and kind of let the flaps drape a little bit, and then glued both flaps together, which held the belt together perfectly. So um, that's kind of what I went went. went blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to talk. Um, that's kind of what I went with here. Um, he is just on a 501st uh, Black Series Archive body. Uh, as soon as I saw this and I was like, I'm a big fan of the Battlefront 2 game and I play it quite a bit. I was like, I saw this and then I saw that he had the turret kit and I was like, you know what? I'm sold. I'm going to go for it. So I gave it a shot. It's not, I'm not the best painter. I'm not Michelangelo, um, <laughs> but uh, I tried my best here. Um, I know the, the yellow dots I kind of have to go back and fix. They're, little, they're definitely super sloppy, but uh, for the most part, I think it, it looks pretty good as far as the gunmetal gray with mixed with the black. Um, everything is dried and sealed and everything like that, so um, that's pretty much finished. I'm um, seeing a couple spots that I missed, like underneath the turret head right here, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, the overall product as far as how it ended up, and it was a lot of fun to do. Um, normally, I, I'm... <laughs> I don't do this this good of job with uh, weathering and mixing different paints together, but this was actually kind of a, a, a fun little project to do. Um, the initial, um, uh, I want to say mold for the plastic is just like a, a very light gray. You can actually kind of see it some here, somewhat on the pumps of the pistons for the turret. So it's definitely a lighter gray. You're definitely going to want to paint that. Um, it does swivel and maintain articulation, so it can swivel side to side. Um, and both guns do come um, separately. Both, uh, I want to say barrels, come separately. You have to pop them in. The fitment for everything was pretty good. This barrel was a little bit looser, so I had to super glue that in. Um, this other barrel was a little bit tight, and that's just probably due to the casting mold because this is a 3D printed. Um, it is a flexi plastic, so it's a little bit tougher. It's not... Um, is easy to break. Um, I kind of am hoping that uh, we end up getting that this kind of plastic for uh, Gridiron Studios in the future, so they don't. Uh, I've had a couple of their their guns kind of snap on me, which sucks, but um, still like their product regardless. Um, but uh, I like that it does swivel, maintains full swivel uh, rotation, and so it is articulated, which is pretty awesome. And it just, you know, it's like another cool little featured thing I can put in my 501st display. Um, it's technically, I don't think it's this technically canon um, for the 501st. I don't think they use these 
turrets at all. I think it's just kind of like one of the, the game things, but uh, things for the game, excuse me. But everything worked out pretty well. Um, as far as the rangefinder goes, um, I did have to shave down a little bit of plastic that was just on this side. So if I bring him in, see that little bit that's sticking out, I had to shave that down and then I just glued that, that on there right there. But everything looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with this. Um, I'm looking for a custom uh, painted head for him. Um, oops, I'm knocking people over. <laughs> I'm looking for a custom painted head for him just to kind of give him a little bit more character. Um, so I don't know, I'll be on the lookout for that. Maybe I'll have to hit up Camaro dude or something like that on uh, the old eBay. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. I painted the belt as well. Um, it's not a perfect match with the rest of the blues, but I'm still, like I said, I'm still pretty happy with uh, how he looks and he does stand out from the rest of the pack. He's not just another 501st guy. Um, so, but that's pretty much it for me. Um, like I said, I just want to make a quick little video, just kind of showing, showcasing my custom here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, is there something that I missed? Um, obviously, like I said, I didn't get the, the two stripes, so maybe I'll do an update video in the future, but uh, I just kind of wanted to showcase this. This was a lot of fun to do, and um, I like the way he turned out for the most part. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.